the word of God says, whatsoever ye ask in my name, that will I do. This promise is true. Or is it false? If it is false, then our lack of spiritual strength is excusable. A special good morning to our viewing audience. Our ministry is a real Bible-based prophecy. And this program is called The Bible and You. The last message for the last generation. We are here on Synergy TV every Sunday morning from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. We can also be viewed on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble. And we are here especially to take you on that spirit-filled journey through the infallible word of God. You know, last week we ended an interesting topic, spiritual warfare, where we, we just basically touched uh, the, that surface on, on, the, on the things that, that we can gain that victory and power over the stronghold of the enemy. But today, today we want to enter into another topic, one that seems to be very controversial, the topic of marriage. And this time I urge all the couples out there, the married couples, even those who are contemplating marriage, to come hear this message for the last generation. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you again. You have spared our lives once more. And today, Lord, we ask that you will take charge. As we delve into this mathematical mystery, Lord Father, of one plus one equals one, Help us to understand what it truly means when you say the two shall become one. Guide our lips, Lord, even as we speak directly from your word. All this we ask in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Pastor, how are you going? How are you doing today? You good? <laughs> good. I am good. Um, nice. We have a hot topic today. Yes, yes. And the hot topic mm. is marriage. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, people get riled up when you talk <laughs> about marriage. <laughs> True. Um, people people um, do, want to, do want to hear it at all, mm. you know. Mm. Um, it um, is, it people, is. People would even take what mm. you're saying out of context, of course. Uh, that is that is also part of it, but people get defensive hmm. when you talk about marriage. marriage yeah. <laughs> but we are taking an honest look at marriage and marriage from the word of God. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, in spite of what um, persons who may um, not be friendly to the word of God would say, the Bible would have an answer. The Bible has answers relative to marriage. So let's let's um, let's dive right in. Yes. Let's let's dive right in, Heavenly Father. Walk through this conversation relative to marriage. Yes, sir. Make it clear and plain in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's 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 begin with the word of God, and then we would um, uh, come back to it. Uh, we, want to, we want to begin. The book of Psalm 127, Psalm 127. Verses one and two. Verses one and two, I'd read, except the Lord build the house, yes. they labor in vain that build it. Labor in vain. Hmm. Except, except the Lord keep the city, yes. the watchman wicked but in vain. In vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. So understand the context in 
the labor in vain that build it. So when the Bible in verse 2 says, it is in vain for you to rise up early, in vain to sit late. That is, except the Lord build it. So it is in vain we attempt to build a family without God. Yes. Wow. So accept the Lord builds the house. They labor in vain that build it. This, this is um, challenging to a lot of people. Because they believe that by their own strength, they can build a happy life, build a happy marriage. If you make enough money, if you work hard enough, you would be able to build a great marriage. But the Bible is saying, except the Lord builds, except he repairs, Except he constructs a marriage. You are, except he, you, he constructs a family. You are laboring in vain. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked but in vain. And you see that, that there are many, that, that marriage has become a city that has been ransacked. We look at, at the statistics and we would show the statistics on the screen. Here we have the this, this, this statistics and this is from finances online. And the reason why the reason why the, uh, um, a financial um, um, website would and, and this this is this is a uh, a valid <laughs> uh, website. The reason why they are interested in it is because stability in marriage is related to finance, mm. is related to success. Even divorce has a, a financial impact. So 41% of all marriages end in divorce. This is... This is um, the average, you know, uh, for the U.S., but it's, 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 also, it's also the average for Western society um, as well, because you will see a certain kind of pattern. 41% of all marriages end in divorce. This rate is actually down. So divorce rates have gone down. But why have they gone down? They have gone down because marriages have gone down. <laughs> it's not because, you know, mm -hmm. people are more successful and, and, and they are more successful at this relationship. No, people are marrying less and we, we, would, we would see it uh, as, as we go on. But, let, but let's look at it. If someone marries twice, mm. the, the, the rate of people who are getting divorced who are married twice is 60%. So for persons who have been divorced um, twice, the rate of divorce is 60%. You would think that people would have learned and, 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 and they, 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 their minds are clear and so on. No, but it is actually increased. To 60%. <clears throat> the divorce rate for a third marriage, and the divorce rate for the second marriage, sorry, is 60%. The divorce rate for the third marriage is, six, is 73%. 13% higher. 19% higher from a uh, divorce of a first marriage. 90% higher when it's the second marriage. 13% higher when it's the third mm -hmm. marriage. So with such high rates of divorce, and you're not even looking at unhappiness 
uh, in marriage. You're just purely looking at divorce rates. The top leading causes of divorce. So we, we have got to look at it. If, if, if divorce rate is so high, 41% is still high, even though it's going down. It's still high. What, what, what are the reasons that would fuel divorce rates? Let's, let's look at the top five reasons um, that would fuel divorce rates. Lack of commitment, and, and by the way, many of uh, 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 this, 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 um, this financial institution also uh, their stats. It it is comparable, and we will see it as we as we present the stats to you. It's comparable with 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 other um, research and and other uh, 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 surveys and and uh, studies from other reputable institutions. So the lack of commitment, 75%. Hmm. So the leading cause for divorce is a lack of commitment. People are not committed. People are not giving 100% in marriage. Hmm. And they go into marriage not be, uh, 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 prepared in their minds not to give 100%. Not to be all in, they have to reserve. Because, you know, if, if it's money, I have to make sure I, 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 I protect that. You know, there, 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 was, there was a situation that I think will can encapsulate um, uh, what we are talking about. Is, is that uh, this, this couple is, is, is together and, and, and the woman is siphoning money into her own account and, and her explanation when, when the husband challenges her is, uh, I have to protect myself. And he's saying, what about us? No, 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 I have to protect myself. So if you want to, to leave, I have to make sure I have things stashed away so that I will be able to be taken care of. How do you get into marriage? It's better you don't get married. Exactly. If, exactly. if, if you cannot trust someone, then don't get married. Yeah. And then you get in the, you get in the marriage uh, with the, the hope of being separated or a hope for divorce. And it's like, you know, your mind already said that it wouldn't work. Yeah. So as she said, she have to protect herself. So she comes into the marriage <laughs> knowing that I had to protect myself. That is already okay. the expectation that it wouldn't work. So instead of, and, and, and that produces, a, that, that level of, of commitment produces, produces poverty. Because it's, it's no longer, let's work together to mm. become successful so, yeah, and yeah. To, to become wealthy. No, it, no I, I am seen about me. Yeah, so this is not the two becoming one. No, no. This is the two still two <laughs> in marriage. <laughs> and, 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 and that, uh, and, and while in every case, uh, the, the scenario may be a little different, the principles are the same. People are not going into marriage with a 100% commitment into marriage. What's the second? The second is coming at 59.6% or 60%. Um, so statistically, it is 60%. 60% of the, uh, 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 in terms of a cause for divorce is infidelity or extramarital affairs. By the way, this is actually an increase. So you have infidelity and extramarital affairs coming in a third, that is it's about 15% less than lack of commitment, but it is coming in third, second, sorry, at 60%. Mm -hmm. Now, I, 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 uh, a few years ago, <clears throat> It's, and it's, it's actually a few years ago. A few years ago, um, uh, uh, um, sex was actually fifth and fourth and, and even third in, in, some, in some research. But, but, but now it is second and, and a 
heavy second. Mm. And close to that is uh, at 57.5%. Uh, it is too much conflicts, conflict or arguing. Constantly, couples are constantly arguing with each other. They're arguing in public. They're arguing on the net. They're arguing in social media. I don't know what on earth is happening. Mm. Why? This, this, and the, the way they are doing it, a level of disrespect is so high that, uh, that you know, it's, it's trouble. Uh, so coming in at 45.1%, that's the, the, that's the fourth leading cause of divorce, uh, is uh, getting married uh, too young. So imagine getting married too young is the fourth leading cause. The fifth leading cause is financial problems. Because yes. people could go through a lot of financial problems if they are together. If there's commitment. If, 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 they, if there is less conflict. If they know how to, 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 to address conflict. If they are not immature. If there is fidelity rather than infidelity. What's the percentage in that? A percentage in terms of a financial, financial problem. 36.1%. Still high, 36.1%. Interesting, and, and this is really, really where the lawyers really relish. The average divorce attorney in the U.S. is $11,300 hmm. per couple. Per couple. So the average cost for divorce attorney fees is $11,300. Well, not per couple at all, per person, per person. <laughs> actually, because they're getting, they're getting divorced. Yeah. Um, the average cost of divorce, 12900 because there's a, oh, different kinds of fees, administrative fees, and legal fees. Uh, well, not legal fees, the other, other fees added, added together. When you add the contest of a child, it's 23300 <laughs> Oi, whoa. U.S., as an average course for divorce. So somebody is making a lot of money. money yeah. <clears throat> the average course. And then there's, there's the median course, etc., etc., etc. My brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters. It is a problem. So, so I said earlier that divorce rates have actually gone down. It has gone down because in 2019, it says, divorce rates in, in the United States hit its lowest point in 50 years. Wang 2020. In 50 years, it has hit its, low, its, its lowest point. In this research that came out in 2020. So it is a challenge when, when you look at when you look at a, 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 a marriage. Marriage all over, my, my brothers and sisters, there's a problem. Let's look at, uh, at, at something that uh, you know it. It, it is. I, I look at it because you know, it is. It is something that that we must we must we must look at. So you look at at, at black marital status. Um, thirty percent of black men are married. Fifty percent have never been married. That's a problem. So you have 18% more black men have never been married than black men who are married. Let's, let's, um, that, that's, that, that's black period. Eh? That, mm. that's black period. Sorry. Just made a mistake. That, that's black period. So 50% of black, that's African Americans, have not 
they are not married. 50% have never been married. 30% are married. Black men, 33% are married. 52% have never been married. 12% of, 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 of in the African-American community are, are divorced. 10% of men are divorced. 52% have never been married. Black women, only 27% has been are married. 12%, uh, 13% actually are divorced. And 48% have never been married. In all of the United States of America, 48% are married. 34% has never been married. It's, 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 when you, when you look at the, at the rates, when you look at the rates and you, you measure it, between um, different, uh, different races. 30% of black um, African Americans are married. 50% not married. 12% divorced. Um, there's a 6% there's a, a widowed. And um, it is 3% separated. Hispanics, 43% married. 43% never married. 9% divorced and, you know, 3% um, widowed, 3% separated. Whites, 52% married. 28% not married. 12% divorced. Asians, 58% married. 31% never married. Divorce is less 5% and 4%. Mm. Right? While there are uh, 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 um, diversions, and, and, and it, it is stark when you, when you look at, at African American communities, the Asian communities, and, and most, most, of the Asian, most of the Asian communities are, are um, uh, what you call, um, um, immigrants, a high immigrant community. The African community is, is less immigrants in, by percentages, right? So, so what, what you have in the African American community is uh, the lack of marriage. And, and as it, 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 and, and this is increasing. What you have also observed, what I've also, um, <laughs> observed, and, and, and it is, you know, it is, it is, um, it is challenging is that there is an increasing rate of people that do not want to get married. Mm. And the major increase is men, men saying, I don't want to get married. What is, it? what is in marriage for me? Marriage is, is uh, the claim, is a, is a key to my financial demise. Um, because since, since the divorce rate is, is, is so high, um, I, am going, I have more to lose. So I, I don't want to get married. And, 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 and so what you have is le less stability. Now, I am not saying because, you know, people sometimes come to the conclusion, you know, a preacher is, is going against, is going against uh, divorce and so on. I am not saying that someone is, someone should stay in an abuse relationship. Absolutely not. I tell, I tell people that once you have abuse, let there be counseling when people are apart because you just cannot chance it. Even if persons want to make a go at their marriage, it, it, it has to be apart. It can't, it, 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 it can't be together. I mean, I, I, I cannot, as a person, countenance abuse at all. However, that is the state I'm sharing with you, the state of marriage. So people would say, well, that, that's, that's in the United States. Come to Trinidad and Tobago. In Trinidad and Tobago, one in three marriages end in divorce. 
One in three marriage, marriages end in divorce. What is needed in Trinidad and Tobago, um, I would say, is, uh, is um, um, a, a research that breaks it down, that looks at infidelity, that looks at the leading causes. You need to have that kind of research. Uh, and, and, and I would also say, I would also say, we need to have research that looks at, at um, what le uh, 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 the, the, the persons, the kind of behavior that is more conducive to couple staying. Now, some, some, I mean, universities and secular universities, some of them are not interested in this kind of research at all because it, it you know it opens a, a, a Pandora oh, box and gets yeah. us thinking about about spiritual matters but 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 what 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 is the behavior of people who stay married or people who when they are married they are happy in marriage there, there is a need for that in the Caribbean Aruba has the highest divorce uh, rate, then followed by Cuba, and uh, you would have a, a lot of uh, Latin American countries. And you have Jamaica com coming coming in, I think it's seventh or sixth, sixth. Um, but, but my brothers and sisters, it's a problem. It's, it's a, a universal problem, but especially it is exacerbated in Western countries. Russia for the world has the highest, uh, has the highest rate of divorce. Okay. So, so you can, you cannot even say it is, it is religion that is driving divorce yeah. because Russia is extremely irreligious and a high rate of divorce. The second is Belarus. Hmm. Which is which is coming out of the Soviet Union, and 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 the countries coming out of the Soviet Union have a particularly high rate of 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 divorce. Listen, except the Lord, uh, Bible says, yes, build a house. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman. Wake it, but in vain. Watch. I am contending we are having these challenges in marriage because we are not following the biblical formula. Mm. The biblical God has provided a formula for success in marriage biblically. We are not going to, we are not going to rush it. Let's let's look at the genesis of marriage that we would we would find in the word of God, in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter two, in the book of Genesis chapter two, hmm. and we would look at, uh, we, we will back it up to um, when God um, created, created man. That's in from verse seven, Genesis chapter two. From verse 7. It reads, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living soul. So the self-existent one, mm -hmm. the Lord God, the self-existent Elohim, the self-existent magistrate, formed man, shaped man, molded man, determined man. You know, the, 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 the word that is used in the translation here is, is, is at least the word pitya is that of a potter. The Lord, the divine potter, shaped man, sculpted man, determined, molded man, squeezed man into shape of the dust of the ground 
and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, the life principle, that which separates the animate from the inanimate. And man became a living soul. Now, the Bible did not say man had a soul, but man became one. That's, that's the description of, of man at the beginning. And verse 8. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. Okay. So he formed man first. Mm -hmm. And then he placed man into a garden wow. that was in Eden. Now Eden was a place. Mm -hmm. And Eden had a garden. A place like Port of Spain. So you're saying like Port of Spain have the, have the, have the garden. The gardens in Port of Spain. Mm -hmm. And he placed man in the garden. In Eden. Go ahead. And out of the ground, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. Mm -hmm. and, and good for food. Yes. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Okay. So out of the ground, so man came out of the ground, the trees came out of the ground as well. Mm. Later on, you'll see the animals came out of the ground as well. So man and trees and <clears throat> animals came out from the same place, but they were created for a different purpose. Go ahead. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and became into four heads. Okay, go to, go to 12. 12. They have a land of Havilah yeah. in verse 11. We'll go to 12. Okay. And the gold of that land is good. That's, that's in Havilah. Yes. yes. There is Bedlam mm -hmm. and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gaon. The same is it, is it that compassed the whole land of Ethiopia. So, so God had, a, had, a, had, had watered the place well. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, verse 25. 25. Verse 15, sorry. Oh, okay. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Now, now notice if, if there is the onyx stone and the uh, bdellium and, 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 and um, in Havilah and, and, and there is also the onyx stone so, yeah. in, in Havilah. The gold is good in Havilah. Um, if there is such an abundance... If gold and all the precious stones are available, I want you to notice that God did not make man out of precious stones. Yeah. So therefore, the making of man from dust without precious stones, even though precious stones was highly available, yes. suggests a deliberate act of God to make man out of dust alone. So, uh, so it's, it's a deliberate attempt. It's a deliberate creation. It's a deliberate choice, decision of God that makes man out of dust alone. Continue. <coughs> And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in, that, in the day that thou eatest thereof, mm -hmm. thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely die. And God is stamping his authority. Now, there was nothing <clears throat> wrong with the tree. Mm-hmm. And we know there is nothing wrong with the tree because in verse 9, this is what it says in verse 9. It says, and out of the ground 
may the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. So, so every so out of the ground, the Lord God made to grow every tree. Yes, that is pleasant. That is pleasant to the sight. And good for food. Good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So therefore, it is, they were pleasant to the eyes. Yeah. They were good for food. God did not say, do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil because it was not good for food. Hmm. He took a tree that was good for food and he said, do not eat. One tree out of the millions of trees mm. in the world, God is saying, one tree do not eat. Do not eat it. Because I am God. And because I am God, I call the shots. Mm. You are the manager. I am the owner. I am the founder. You are the CEO. You work for me. That, 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 that's, that's, what, that's what God is saying. And people are making all, all kinds of excuses some, sometimes, you know, uh, 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 um, why God had this temptation and so on and so on. But, 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 but God is establishing the fact that God is in control. Mm. I am the owner. And you work for me. You are the steward. You are the manager. You work for me, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. This is a powerful principle. If we want marriage to work, we must understand who we are accountable to. We are accountable to God. Not ourselves. Because many people enter into marriage and they act as if they are not accountable to anybody but themselves. You are accountable to God. So, so God is building a family. And the first thing in building the family, God is saying, you're accountable to me. I want you to understand, before I make husband and wife, before I join you with a wife, before I give you a family, I want you to understand that you are accountable to me. I am in charge. I run things. Hmm. Go ahead. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. So, so after he's establishing that he is God yes. and that you are accountable to me, then he says, I'll make a wife for you. Yeah. Because if you understand you're accountable to God, then you would have the right kind of accountability to your wife. And the first challenge in this world, and, 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 and there is a survey that, 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 that says, you know, a, a woman generally initiate divorce. That's, that's about 73%. And we can go into that at, at, some other, at some other time. 73%. When a woman is educated, they initiate divorce. Those who are divorced, initiate divorce 90%. So 90% of women... 90% of people who initiate divorce are educated women. Women who are divorced and educated initiate divorce 90% of the time. And, 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 and that says something, you know. It says something about the, uh, the way men and women are being educated. And the lack of commitment, a lot of these people with lack of commitment are people who are educated. They come in with lack of commitment. Yeah. Yeah. They come in, I am taking about five parachutes. If you catch me here, jumping out the plane. Catch me there, jumping out the plane. Catch me there, jumping out the plane. If, 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 um, if I keep... I came into marriage ready just, just to get half of what you, what you get after a few years of jumping out of the plane. I came with a lot of reasons yeah. to abandon ship. Yeah. 
and, and I'm not against education, by the way. I'm saying that people have be, are being educated wrongly as well. Because people need, should not take abuse or even unfaithfulness in marriage. But at the same time, they must be educated as to what faithfulness is. You cannot have a university system that preaches on faithfulness, that, 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 that encourages and even provide the philosophy to justify people having sex at the drop of a hat hmm. and, and being immoral. And then those same people enter into marriage. How do you think they'll enter into marriage? No, no wonder a lot of people who would go to university and those who know would not be in university as well, they come into marriage hurt. No wonder they are protecting themselves. No wonder they are not as committed. Why are they not as committed? Because they have an experience of being hurt. But, 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 but they are following the philosophies and, and, and the, 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 the perspective of highly educated secular people and secular ideas. So the church, the, 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 the Bible says, um, do not commit adultery, do not commit fornication, do not have sex outside of marriage. People are abandoning that. They don't care about that. That's, that's, um, that's, um, and, and, and even people in the church talking this nonsense. Yeah. That is, uh, that is, that is, that is long time. That is in the ancient time. This is a new age. And, and people are taking longer to get married, but that doesn't mean they are not entering into sexual relationships. So, so they have, they have a, the body count high hmm. by the time they're entering into marriage. Yeah, yeah. They have, they have been hurt. They have been, they have been mangled and they enter into a relationship. Well, this is the person I could marry. Sometimes this is the person I could marry translates to, this is the person I could manipulate. So they enter into marriage after a lifetime of practicing behaviors that is contrary to what God says they enter into marriage. You start wrong. It's so in your wild oats all over the place. Now, you know, you see, you see somebody who I'll set, settle down with this person. You are not settling. Settling where? How would you settle? When your mind is not settled, your character is not settled, your behavior is unsettling. Hmm. You must enter into marriage with a settled behavior, a settled mind. To be settled. So God, and notice, God said in the, in the, in, in the Bible, and, and, and you know, we are taking our time because we are not going to rush this. People will still disagree with us, but we are following the word of God. What you would not say is that we are not following the word of God. Now, I, I, could, I could take this disagreement and I could, I, could, I could embrace someone saying, well, I don't care about the Bible. And that's your choice. But, but the Bible and you, we care about the Bible. And we are presenting what is happening in the world is failing. Marriage in the world is failing. We are presenting an alternative that the Bible says works. Yes. And, 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 and for even those who you may not, you may not agree with us, you, 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 you may think, I don't like to, oh, I don't want to listen to these religious people. I'm not into religion and so on. You know, one day someone went to, to court. They went to jury duties. I think I, I, I said the story already, but it's always good to repeat it again. They went to jury duties. And the judge says, before you come to a conclusion, you need to hear all the evidence. My, my brothers and sisters, for those who are highly distrustful of religion, 
come to this program and this and, and, and this series that we are dealing, doing, uh, and addressing as uh, a juror on jury duties. Look at the evidence, then make your conclusion. If God, if you do not, if you are not led, if you are not convicted, then you can make your decision. But I challenge you to look at an alternative. Listen to what the word of God is saying. And you can make a decision. And the evidence has been presented. So, before God presents man with a woman, and this man is the male, he ensured that certain things are in place. The first thing he ensured was to establish his rulership, his authority, that man understands that he is man and he is not God. You did not come here by luck and chance. You came here by God. And in the Bible, it is saying that man must be accountable to God. And when he is accountable to God, then and only then, the context here, he is ready for help meet. And this help meet is really, he's ready for an assistant. An assistant to accomplish God's will. The Bible presents man, the creation of human beings, as, 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 as a creation that must reflect and further the will of God. That's the Bible. And to reflect and further the will of God, God says it is not good for man to be alone. In, in other words, marriage came from God, highly recommended, and of a lofty position. It doesn't, it, it doesn't only come highly recommended, but it comes from God as an essential experience. It is not good mm -hmm. for man to be alone. So he'll make a help meet an assistant, and this 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 help meet is someone an aid or someone of the same value even as they are for a different purpose different purpose different function but the same value i'm giving you a help meet someone to meet you but is similar to you in value while not in function and purpose. Hmm. And the function and the purpose can be seen in the way he physically made them different. So God made man with a different kind of sculpted body because man has a different purpose. He made woman Different, he sculpted them differently. Different creation, different sculpture, different molding, different function, different purpose. What God did not do is to create sameness. If God had created sameness, there would really be no need to create two. There'll, there'll be no need to create two. I mean, I mean it, it, it is like you have a, a charger, right? And a charger would have the cord and the block. And the block yeah. You make two blocks. That, that doesn't do anything to, the, to your device. The block could be a fast charger. It doesn't <laughs> do anything to your device. Your device would continue to be in a state of wanting to be charged. But you have two important elements of this one device, the cord and the charger. If you have two cord, one of them is redundant. You're, still, you're not charging your device. 
You need a, you need a, you need a cord and a block. And the bl and the cord would have a a a a a a a, 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 a projection that must fit in the block. It is different. The problem in our world is that we, we look at male and female and what we see, equality means sameness. In the Bible, equality does not mean sameness. Equality embraces difference. Different function, different role, different purpose, equal value. In the world, to be equal, you have to be the same. And male and female are not the same. Correct. You have female fighters challenging male fighters. I, I am as good as you. <laughs> no, it's not. No, 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 no. It's not the same. They were having an argument having an argument with, with the football team. So, so the women football team, they are, they are just as good as the male team and so on. So the, 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 the World Cup, the women's World Cup team, they, they, they let them uh, go against a bunch of schoolboys. Hmm. They beat them by the schoolboys, destroy the World Cup. Winning team comprehensively. My brothers and sisters, we are different. Male and female, different. Yes. Yes. God made them from the beginning. Different function, different purpose, different sculpture, different molding, but same in value. We are destroying couples before they become couples. Mm. The philosophy of the world is, is, is consigning marriage to failure before people step in to marriage. Oh, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, time has expired, but we are laying the foundation my brothers and sisters, we are laying the foundation. Look at the evidence. Don't make a judgment as yet. Look at the evidence that we are presenting. The Bible has a solution. Mm -hmm. Elder? Pastor, marriage. Is there a problem? Hmm. Lack of commitment, infidelity, mm -hmm. conflict, uh, Marrying too young, financial situations. Is there a mm. problem? The word of God highlighted. Except the Lord mm. build a house. That's right. They labor in vain that build it. Mm -hmm. Except the Lord build that house. Oh, yes. My brothers and sisters, this topic is one that we should pay close attention to, especially those who are married and those who are contemplating marriage. As we have just skimmed the surface or just peeled back the first page in this high topic, I just want to urge you to be prepared for part two as we delve deeper into marriage come next week. And as we go, if you require Bible study or even some answers to burning questions, or even if you have problems, especially with this topic, and you would like to discuss or get some clarity on this, you can call us on our WhatsApp number. That's one 868 266-2761. That's 1868 266 2761 Or you can email us. Just send us an email. And we will respond promptly at the real Bible based prophecy at gmail.com. That's real Bible based prophecy at gmail.com. 
So until we meet again, remember we are all accountable to mm. God. Oh, yes. Have a blessed day. Yes. Heavenly Father, I pray for those who are listening. Make it clear. Yes. Make it clean. You accompany this broadcast with your presence, with your Holy Spirit. Let them hear clearly the word behind them saying, this is the way, walk in it. Let them know clearly light from darkness, truth from error. The truth will set people free. Amen. Thank you for answer prayer, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, everybody. In Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us on this installment of The Bible and You. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel for more videos. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll know when new videos are posted. Follow us on Facebook for updates and resources, and we'll see you again soon.